special of Blender slated to be releasing in the coming days, the folks at Blender Foundation are all in with a brand new animation 2025 project. This project is expected to run for 3 years and the idea is to bring a total reform to the rigging and animation tools, which of course is long overdue. The animation project is expected to run from January of 2023 to December 2025, starting with the development of the new profiling tools, rigging and constraint nodes, and a 3D onion skinning system. This definitely looks like a good spot to start from considering that the last update to rigging tools was sometime in 2009 with the release of Blender 2.5 codenamed Animato. Of course this system was aimed to rectify and address certain animation system and yes if you're saying that isn't this the same Animato the website that Askenke talked about a few days back, well that isn't the same. Well you know the whole idea is I guess that the name didn't fly and they had to repurpose it for this website owing to the fact that the website and also the code name was from the folks at Blender Foundation. Be that as it may, this current project announcement isn't the foundation's first attempt at overhauling the rigging and animation section of Blender. In fact, the revamp of the animation tool codenamed Animation 2020 was pushed forward in the Blender 3.x roadmap. This was slated to make its first debut in 2022 as it was now rebranded and codenamed Animation 22. But this seems to be having another post that period in 2020 against 2025. Which means if Blender release roadmap is anything to go by, we should be having this concretely solid in Blender 4.6 or 4.7 LTS. Now this doesn't mean that there hasn't been any subtle animation updates over the years and we've actually seen a couple of these, from the graph editor updates all the way to the pose library and if we just simply discount all of those, I would say that the folks at Blender Foundation actually know what they're doing and this may just be the right time to have an upgrade, especially with the node integration plans that they have in mind. During the Blender conference, Dr. Cybran along with other Blender developers made a presentation which sounded quite ambitious. They also teased a few demos and showed off some structure behind the project. This looks promising and the idea is to get the animation system in Blender more useful with these design principles which entails that the system should be fast, intuitive, focused, iterative, direct and Suzanne. With Suzanne simply depicting that you need to be a very wonderful Blender citizen. And one of the core principles about this new system is simple. The system is planned to be fast enough to offer various bits artists can try before committing to a shot and this should bring about quicker iteration, manipulation and playback speed. And with the nodal system in view, this would definitely come in very handy as this sort of comes with a little bit of procedural touch to it. A more intuitive system would bring about rig presets, constraints, nodes and familiar tools across DCC apps. And speaking about other DCC apps, the Foundry model seems to already implement a rig preset system. This is a well thought out set of rig sets that can allow for a pre and post preset use for models. Users can make and store their own presets for reusability and can also use pre-designed presets to make rigs which can also be reused. In all, this feature is a very pretty one and it will be quite impressive to see this come to Blender soon. Additionally, the idea of temporal posing tools would also be great. Currently, Blender does support temporal IK, which is in itself a wonderful tool that you can use and having some more temporal tools would of course be wonderful. There's also another interesting idea for direct 3D manipulation of rig models within the viewport. This is something that is super nice and it would definitely help artists create and pose their models faster. The idea is to push this as much as it can get for both desktop and VR. And there's a good number of potentials for this as several industries have already implemented these features in the past for character animation. And if you're wondering what commercially available tools are out there that can actually cater to something like this, we did cover a few of these on the channel before. Akitsu is one of the early commercially desktop based tools that artists can use and interact with their models directly and it also makes sense to see that Roomba, which is more like a plugin tool that you can use alongside Maya, does have a good set of tools that makes this approach super interesting. And for sure if you're into VR, the Masterpiece Motion, which has won several awards for giving artists a more intuitive way of creating and animating in VR, is also another beautiful tool that supports direct 3D manipulation of rig models. And I do know that most animation house does have their own set of tools which also brings this same idea of direct 3D manipulation of rig models to the table. And all of this alongside a better selection of tools would definitely bring a more polished system to Blender for rigging artists and animators. And for those who would like to see what the 3 year proposal plan would look like, here is a simple rundown. 2023 will start off with the building of prototypes prioritizing the rig explainer, rig profiler and performance, 3D onion skinning and rig constraint nodes. 
So all of these are going to be coming in 2023 and a few different prototypes will be built to explore different options. This is planned to be implemented in a way that compartmentalizes those aspects that depend on the current implementation of Amateur's actions and so on. And with 2024, we'll be seeing a brand new insight. Hopefully, this is going to be similar to what we have with Unreal Engine. There's also going to be a reconsideration of the current amateurs if it has to be broken down or rebuilt, actions and objects to allow multi-object animation, better data handling, layer and animation data, and finally, speeding things up and work more towards the improvements that we will be seeing in 2025. And for 2025, they just said more useful cool stuff. So hopefully in 2025, we'll be seeing a collection of nice things coming together. And this might actually start from 2024 all the way to Blender 4.7, which will be the LTS of 2025. And if you go all the way back and pair the keywords with what we have with the animation 20 or 2022 with what is coming with animation 2025, there's a couple of things that are not quite there. Some of the things include physics, so physics doesn't seem to be coming anytime soon, and the muscle system setup is also something that we might probably not be seeing. And speaking about physics, I would love to see some implementation like what we have with this wonderful plugin from Maya. So if you're thinking about exploring with this, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can check this out and see some of the amazing things that you can do. And this is the kind of physics system or ragdoll system that I would like to see, and potentially this should be coming after the animation 2025 is done with. Of course, this is also another amazing tool that would save animators so much time for posing and would come in very handy for those automatic physics and collisions. All of these ideas are grounded in reality and showing that they can all be done. And of course, bringing these tools together into an open source tool that will be available for everyone is something new and exciting. So this is more like it. For those who like to follow up on this journey, link is gonna be in the description that'll take you over to the workshop and also to the animation module on Blender chat alongside the blogs where you can check out all of these and see them for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.